Welcome back to Vision Auto Garage. In this episode, our midget gets its first piece of fresh steel. The passenger floor pan doesn't need replacing because of rust, but because of poorly executed repairs to the footwell and the sill edge. Although the repairs are perfectly functional, they're just not nice. Before I can do any more cutting and welding on this floor pan, I need to clean back all of the sound deadening, paint and under seal so I can see exactly what's going on. Replacing this patchwork with the correct repair panels will help re-establish the floor dimensions and crucially, the vertical flange to mate with the inner seal. Although I've bought an entire floor pan, I'm not going to replace the whole thing. My goal here isn't to build a new car, it's just to repair what needs repairing. Now on this floor, the repairs have been patched in from underneath and it's very clear to see there's one along here and one all the way down the side. So my plan is I'm going to tackle each part of the floor pan separately, the front and the main section, and I'll cut around where I need to and make this panel fit. I've removed a lot more of the floor pan than I had originally intended. The stamping in the replacement floor pan is actually wider than the original one that was on the car. That meant that there was a nasty overlap where I wanted to weld. What I've done now is trimmed it back to about a quarter of an inch from the spot welded flange across the chassis legs and the cross member. And that will mean that I can get this nicely butt welded in once it's trimmed down to size. Our new front floor pan was slid into place and clamped, adjusted, reclamped, its location checked, readjusted, and clamped and checked again before finally marking the cut line. With the panel edges cleaned back to bare metal and clamped in place, it's time to fire up the MIG. I'm stitch welding the panel to minimise heat buildup and distortion. Starting with stitches around 2 inches apart, I work my way around the joint. Using a hammer and dolly to dress the joint flat helps keep things in line. I repeat the process until there's a continuous bead around the seam. Well I'm delighted that the first piece of fresh steel is now on the car. The stitch welding is not going to win any internet awards for beauty, but it is holding the panel on very securely and has done a great job in minimising any heat buildup and distortion in this larger panel. After finishing back the welds, our new front floor pan is solid, strong and looks loads better than the old one. In the next episode we start work on the rear of our floor pan. For more regular updates and photos, please check out our Facebook and Instagram accounts on the links below. Thanks for watching.